Hi, I'm Jim at RC4, and we're doing a basic introduction of how to get started with RC4 Magic PC software for the first time. Every system that we sell at RC4 has its own digital IDs that belong only to you, so no other user has the same IDs. There are three unique IDs like that. Each one will support a complete universe of 512 channels. And then there's a fourth channel that is public and it has been provided in every Series 2 and Series 3 RC4 Magic product since the beginning. So it's always there, we know what it is, it's by number, it's ID 999. We can use that to establish a connection between devices that don't otherwise know what the uh, unique and private IDs are. So that's where we begin. We start with our dongle, our PC product that has much the same technology in it as our DMXIO but with a USB interface so our software can talk to it in the computer. So we plug that in. If it's the first time you're doing that, it will find the drivers on Windows Update. If you prefer not to use Windows Update, or if you're doing this on a, on a Mac with Boot Camp or some other uh, virtual Windows environment, you might be better to go to our website and just download the drivers directly and install them. I've found on a MacBook that that works better. So we've got the dongle installed, the drivers installed, and we run the program. So RC4 Magic. You have downloaded the installer from our, our website and run the setup, and you end up with a icon you can click and open the program. The very first window that opens is for establishing communication with the dongle. So you'll see by default the public ID of 999 appears, and if you have only one COM device plugged in, which is probably the case, you'll see only one item in the list. If you have other uh, USB COM devices installed on your PC, you may see more items here, and you'll need to be sure you're clicking on the one that is your dongle. You click it, it tells you down here that the port is open, that means you've established connection with the dongle, and now we can watch the LED dongles while we click any other tab, and it sets up the RF link. So now we go to device and IDs, it tells you configuring RF to transmit an ID 999, it has talked to the dongle, and when that process is complete, we get a blinking RF active indicator. Now your dimmer devices contain your private IDs, and that's where our software needs to get them. So here's my DMX4 DIMM Series 3, and it has my private IDs in it. The first thing we have to do is set this to be on the public ID. And I do that by holding down the fourth set button, set D, while I apply power. So here we are, I've got the power things held together nearby. I'm holding down the button and pushing the connections together. And now we have powered up in the public ID. And I can make sure I've done that correctly. When I power up the device, the LED indicators toggle back and forth, telling me I'm on the public, uh, public ID. Just a quick review, if the RF data light blinks by itself on power up, we're on ID zero. If the cop light blinks by itself on power up, we're on ID 1. If the two blink together in sync, then we're on ID, uh, ID 2. And if they toggle back and forth, you're on ID 3, which is the public ID. And now we have RF Connect blinking, saying that it has joined the network and we have established a wireless link between the dongle and the dimmer. The next step we do is click Read on the software. This green indicator tells us, and this bar tells us we have established that, and these are now my private IDs. Only I have these. I want to point out even other members of our organization who do demos like this have their own IDs. We could be demoing our three universes at our own tables side by side, and there would be no interference. And you get that same benefit if there's an RC4 user in the very next room or in another rehearsal space. The, um, because we've done the, re the read of the device, we can see what type it is. This is a 4DIM, the firmware version that's installed. Every device has a unique serial number, as I said, the IDs. So now the very last step is to, having done this read, and now the computer and our software has learned our IDs, to go back to our, public I to our private ID, because this has all happened on the public ID, and this is all we want to do with that. Now we want to go back. So I go back to the PC COM tab, and I can click on user ID 0, and it now knows what that is. It didn't before. And once again, I click COM, and I click any other tab, and now you will see it's configuring an ID 44FA, which is one of my private IDs. And of course, on my device, I have to go back to my ID 0. 
So once again, I have to disconnect power, hold the button down. In this case, it's set A. This selects ID 0. I pop the buttons back together. And now I am back to the correct ID. And once again, so you can see it on, uh, on video, when I power it up, now we get just the one quick blink over here to tell us that we're on ID 0 again. So now the dongle down here is running on ID 44FA. This device is running on 44FA. The connect LEDs are blinking on both devices. We've established our network. We can do a read again. And now we are fully, fully secure and able to read and control our devices. The last thing I'll touch on is that each one of these dimmers and transceivers and devices in my RC4 network can be assigned a unit number. And this lets me run and have more than one device powered up and be able to uniquely specify um, controls and configurations. So the next thing I want to do is click over to settings and choose, I'm going to make this unit number two. So here I'm going to set the number two and I'm going to use set unit number. And now it tells me, this is an important warning, you should have you should only have one device powered up and active when setting a new unit number. Do you want to proceed with setting it to unit number two? This is the only device I have on right now, and I will say yes, and is now set that ID in that device. If I go to say unit number one and do a read, it does not work. I have a red indicator. There is no unit number one. If I go to new unit number two, I can do a read, and it connects with this device because I've set it to be number two. And now I have, when I've done that with every device in my system, the ability to individually control any device, even when they're all powered up in the same room. And once again, that's all happening on my private ID. So even if somebody in the next room is doing these same processes with their devices on their ID, doesn't matter at all. We're completely unique and secure. For more information about other features and the other tabs, I've got more videos in the same place you found this one.